Part two of the Oak TV cabinet video is here. Right, in this video we have the legs and the framework construction as well as the top and the start of the drawer fronts. All in this video. Now, if you've just clicked and have no idea what I'm talking about, then go watch part one now. Don't worry, I'll wait for you. Welcome back. So, as you've just seen, in part one, we built the main body of the TV unit and we used half flaps and dados all to lock it into place. No fastenings whatsoever, just glue and old-fashioned wood joints. Now, let's get cracking on with those legs. So now the main box has had a good sand, we can get the legs out of the clamps, give them a quick rub down with 80 grit sandpaper, and then get to cutting all the grooves, I guess, so they can slot into the side of the box. Doing that cut scared the shit out of me because <laughs> if that goes wrong and out of square, I have to make the legs again, all over again. Whew. Now I've got to do it to the other one and then um, we can start hocking, hocking out. We'll start getting the rest of it out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, 
that's it for today. As you can see, it's night time. <laughs> Back tomorrow and we are going to be cracking on. I'm probably going to be milling the top piece, probably also milling the drawer fronts as well. But I might have to move this entire piece out of the workshop. Small workshop problems, you know? So I'll see you guys tomorrow, even though you're just watching this video. I'll see you guys in a few seconds. <laughs> Morning, folks. All right, let's stick it here and get to it. Get to work! Oh. So the main carcass box unit and the legs are in the living room because we need the space because I'm now going to start doing some milling up for the top part and the drawer fronts. Oh, you need the bench for the thickness there. And plus it's just nice. Plus it's just nice to have a good old tidy up. Later. Uh. <laughs> oh. Totally should have done this before doing the glue up. I uh, just forgot. and ready for glue up. I have rehearsed this so many times because it's quite a weird glue up and Katie would usually be here but she's quite early on in her pregnancy and I'd rather her rest because she is more important than getting this glued up. So I'm gonna tackle this by myself and I think it'll be absolutely fine. Tricky, but doable. Let's go. So as you've seen, we have got the top all cut down to size. We actually did cut it down even further from what you saw because it looks a bit top heavy. And then I've marked out for where the threaded inserts will go. But I'll do that down the line because I'm itching to start making some drawers. But we'll leave all of that for part three as well as finishing up the entire build. Along with the draw fronts, the draw handles and those somewhat confusing but great concealed bloom draw runners. Basically a draw heavy episode. So click that subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll see you then. Bye folks.